uh, the charges of felony in the first degree. Uh, we're going to schedule a preliminary hearing for April 27th, Your Honor, at 9:30. April 27th at 9:30. Next issue is bond. What's the state's position on bond? Your Honor, the defendants are currently being held on two no bonds, one out of common pleas, another one out of a, a pending matter in the Marine Municipal Court. Um, due to the nature of the offense, that that there was an active TPO um, that was uh, in place when this uh, incident occurred, the state would ask for as high as bond as possible, um, at least a million dollars, Your Honor, would be the state's position on bond. Yes, Your Honor. Very briefly, I understand the allegations. I understand the circumstances. We've had some brief hour discussions. Um, I don't know that as high a line as possible is constitutionally appropriate or statutorily pursuant to Rule 46. But Mr. Nickel is correct that he has two different home on hold. So um, I was asked if the court set one pursuant to a statutory directive that is um, high enough but not so high as that you know, it's designed to keep Mr. Kimberly in custody. However, we know that no matter what bond this court sets, he's going to remain in custody. I think May 6th is the earliest, uh, I'm sorry, the later of the two hearings for which he had no bond hold at this point in time, which pushes us past that earlier. The, the court is aware of what's going on in the other courts, both uh, Judge Cook and Judge Elwell. Uh, Judge Cook from the Great High Court, God, please, and Judge Elwell from the Great Municipal Court, both have. Uh, Set by no bond that they're going to follow over the hearing. And as I look at uh, Criminal Rule 46, uh, which requires the court to consider the nature and circumstances of the crime charged and whether the crime was involved, involved a weapon, that's the situation that we're dealing with here. The way to the evidence against the defendant, my understanding is that it's a significant evidence uh, against uh, Mr. Kimbrough uh, for, that, uh, for that offense. There has been confirmation of the defendant's identity and the defendant's uh, family ties, employment, financial uh, resources, character, and record of convictions is not good uh, when, uh, from his perspective. Uh, and whether or not the defendant was on parole or subject to another form of court control at the time of the alleged offense, my understanding is based upon information from, uh, from the Cowan Police Court that he was supervision. So all those uh, factors weigh against Mr. Kimbrough and it would appear that the million dollar uh, recommended bond is, is appropriate. So the court will set bond at one million dollars. Uh, we'll deal with the, that issue again uh, at the time of the preliminary hearing. Uh, any other issues we need to deal with? Not from the state, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Mr. Kimbrough, do you have any questions this time? No, I don't. I barely can hear you. I barely can hear you. Is that right? All right. What we what we discussed was uh, the, the bond, and the bond is set at a million dollars. Uh, there will be further consideration of that bond at a later date. Uh, the court understands that, that both the Moraine Municipal Court and the Court of Common Pleas have uh, instituted a no bond hold on you, and there will follow up with hearings to uh, deal with those issues. Any other questions? No, I do not. All right, we're all set. Thank you. Thank you.